Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So, funny story. We were supposed to move the electric fence where the chickens are this morning to this. Looks a lot better than what they're in because we've already eaten everything and I overslept. Steven overslept too, but he asked me a sudden alarm. I was like, oh, we're not going to oversleep. Like, we rise with the sun kind of nonsense. Well, can you tell? Like, we legitimately just got out of bed. They were all out of the trailer, so no moving them today. Next thing, hurry up and wait. My son called me. He's like, I'm packed. I'm ready. And they literally told us, stand still. Just stand down. Whatever it is. Just wait. <laughs> he said, so I can't go too far from home. Can't unpack my crap. <laughs> because we're literally waiting, you know, for them to say, okay, now go. So I will keep you guys updated when his unit finally deploys from Florida, lands in Texas, you guys will be the first ones to know because I'll let you know. Uh, on top of that, if you are a veteran watching my channel, please throw me up a wavy hand or a US flag, one or the other, so I know it's you. Listen to me. If you're interested in farming, there is a grant that is due February 14th, that's Valentine's Day, for one to $5,000. Grant money means you don't have to pay it back. You only have to be a veteran. So it's in community, but I'm going to post you where you can go to see it, like a little picture right here. See it? But you can go to community post. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, go to my homepage on YouTube. At the very top, it'll say like videos, shorts, playlists. Keep scrolling that along all the way to the far right. Something that says community. Go there, it's where I can post like an actual picture or a comment, scroll, scroll through, you'll see what I'm talking about. Get that application put in, you guys. Let America pay you back for your service to this country because some of us truly love you. And I understand some of the things you deal with when you come back from active duty, even if you really never see action per se the separation from normal civilian life and your family has repercussions so god bless you thank you for your service to america i hope that some of you get this grant i really honestly do so on top of that today i'm leaving here in just a minute my husband and i are gonna help start a private school with our church i say help i'm gonna give my opinions because that's what my pastor asked me to do that's what I did before I did this. <laughs> Director of a daycare and uh, worked in public schools for years. So we're gonna see what we can get going. My parish has really bad demographics. Say a little prayer, a lot of laws and regulations to weed your way through. But we will not be accepting any state or federal funding. So that eases up a little bit on meeting certain criteria. But I know my pastor, and we're going to want a top-notch school. We're going to want certified teachers. You know, we're going to want hands-on activities. We're going to want outdoors. We're going to want, you know, the kids growing gardens, learning to cook, learning to preserve. Real education. So say a little prayer that the Holy Spirit will walk us through this relatively painlessly. And that what he wants done comes forward in these discussions today. And that we get the vision down on paper so we can run with it. That's about all I've got for you guys, right? Just a short four minute. Here's what's happening in, in my neck of the world. Tell me what is going on in your neck of the world. Love you guys. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will keep you updated on what's going on with my son. Surgery's Monday. You will not see my face, most likely for a couple of days. Um, but I will have my husband hop on and do a quick video for you guys about what is going on with our kid, the military, Florida, Texas, the border, all that stuff. Keep praying, you guys. In the end, we win one way or the other. But let's get as many people into the light before Jesus has that angel sound that trumpet, you guys. Let's not leave anybody here. Like, like in the war. War people, veterans, you guys truly get leave nobody behind. That's why Jesus really loves veterans. I'm dead serious. Veterans are like blood brothers. They're like 
you know, to the end, because I know my son is, both my sons. So we need more veterans rowing in our boat, not just patriots, but Christians, because they are faithful. They are faithful. They are a different kind of breed. And we need those guys set free from PTSD, set free from anger, set free from, you know, anxiety, drugs. We need you guys set free. So find you a veteran today. Link up with them, help them, love them, support them, and tell them about the grant. Love you guys. Bye-bye.